welcome to this week's video. In this episode, we are exploring the desert town of Ica and Tabacatuna. So after our time in Cusco, exploring the Amazon and Machu Picchu, we decided instead of going straight to Lima, we would head the long way round up to Ica. First though, we headed to Arequipa and spent a few days there. Here we fed the llamas, took a walking tour of the city and enjoyed the views with some sunset drinks before our final night bus to Ica. Welcome to our room in Ica. We're staying at the Ica Adventurers 2. Uh, we've just checked in after our final night bus in South America. Woo! No more awful windy long journeys. Uh, we're making our way up to Lima before we fly home. I'm still feeling a little bit under the weather, which is why in Arequipa we just rested and didn't do any filming. Also, we weren't really there long enough to warrant doing any sort of activities or anything. But we're going to be exploring around uh, the desert oasis town of Huaycachina before making our way to Paracas and the Balesteros Islands there. And we'll be taking you along with us to, for the final part of our Peru and South America journey. Ready? But for now, let's go! You rest. The hostel was one of the best value on the whole trip, with lots of chill areas, a bar and games area. They even had a rooftop lounge with a view of the town. The food from the bar was cheap and always offered local dishes. We chilled with games from day to night. So now you've seen our hostel, it's time to see the real reason why we're here in Ica. But off to Huacachina, we've got an afternoon tour book so that we can see the sunset later over the sand dunes. Um, we're going to have a little wander around Huacachina and then try and do some sandboarding and get thrown around in a dune buggy. So come join us. The hostel could also help with organising tours. So we hopped in a collectivo and just a short drive away we were in the desert oasis town of Huacachina. So this is Huacachina, the small oasis town located just outside of Ica. It's not a big place. That's it basically. You only really come here to do the adventure stuff such as the sandboarding and the dune bugging, which we're doing all in one in just a sec. So come on then, let's go. So the dune buggies are over here and we're gonna get in them and be driven around like maniacs throughout the desert and hopefully not crash and die. At around 4pm every day, all the tour companies head to the dune buggies. They're all pretty much the same, so strap yourselves in and hold on tight. It was very bumpy and it was very fast. Tearing through the desert sand with the wind battering us, our driver went up steep dunes and launched us over the other side, twisting and turning. It was a real roller coaster. After being thrown about, we stopped to try some sandboarding. Soundboard ready to go. For some strange reason, Gemma didn't like the idea of heading headfirst down a sand dune, but I thought it was great, so I grabbed my board, laid face first, and stared down the dune. The 
recording stop too was much steeper. Even the pros had some issues. You had to keep your arms in and control the speed with your feet. I forgot the feet part halfway down, so even my GoPro didn't want to stay on. Back in the dune buggies, we were thrown about some more until the sun started to set. survived dune bugging and sandboarding and now we're seeing Hakatuna lit up behind us as the sun's gone down before we head back to Ica and then chill tomorrow before heading to Caracas. We had to empty our shoes of sand before we left Hakatuna. We'd picked up quite a lot in a short time. So that was our short time exploring the deserts of Peru. Despite being quite a small place, we were glad that we stayed in Ica just because it was much cheaper than Huacachina and our hostel was pretty amazing. From Ica, you can also head out to other places around the desert like the Nazca Lines, which I did on a previous trip to Peru. And you can also head to the beach town of Caracas, which is what we did next. That'll be coming up in our next episode. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you then.